you're watching News 8 Now, I'm Erin O'Valley. Sanford will move forward with plans to build a new high school and technical center. News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is in Sanford this morning where voters easily approved that project. A new high school project has been the topic of conversation for months here in Sanford, and initially many were concerned about the cost of the project. But now many voters that came out last night told us that they are in support of it and believe that it would be a great addition to the community here. And the new project would be a combined high school and technical center that would take up about 60 acres on Main Street, including athletic fields. Yesterday's special election set the size of the building and overall concept, but the designs are expected to change, and it's an Expected to cost more than $100 million, with most of the funding coming to the state. Many of the parents we spoke to said they're looking forward to a new facility, and the city clerk will be recounting the balance to date to make everything official. In Sanford, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8 Now. Well, West Bath will be withdrawing from RSU 1. Residents there voted last night for 68 to 97. That change goes into effect on July 1st, and officials say voter turnout was double what they had expected. The state is getting the green light to begin drug testing some welfare applicants, but DHHS Commissioner Mary Mayhew isn't sure when testing will begin. The new policy requires anyone receiving temporary assistance benefits to be tested if they have drug-related felony convictions. The proposal is heading to the Secretary of State after the AG's office gave approval. The ACLU says it's concerned the policy is unconstitutional. Well, thanks for tuning in to this News 8 Now update. I'm Erin O'Valley. You can check out our website anytime, WMTW.com, for news and weather updates. Have a great day.